but yeah. I'll be honest. I've been literally doing things for like 45 minutes on my computer, doing work and whatnot. And also, I heard the entrance to Dead by Daylight, and I realized that I was in a game. Not only am I in a game, I got to play the killer. Oh, and we're on the new map. Let's check this out. This is sweet. So we get to look at everything and have some fun, and hope we don't have some try-hard survivors that try to gen rush. We'll go from there. I must vomit. <laughs> Got her. So you'll see right there um, if you fully infect her, right? It pops her full. She's my obsession. I should have let her run because um, I get to use her as a thing. But you'll notice that my perk on the bottom right is lit up because I have no terror radius for a couple seconds. I'm trying to use this to our advantage, probably for the next like five. It's not gonna be very long. Oh, oh, here we go. They don't know I'm here. And they just popped off, so. Oh, I didn't get enough on her. Lana, don't feel so good. Ah, <laughs> uh, you'll see that she's retching as well. Um, the reason that she does that is so. So it is cancelable. So that she jumps over, she stays being sick. Alright, let's see what her lunges. She's pretty normal. I don't know why the one survivor suicided. I mean, games are impossible to get in. I would. There's no way that I would waste that much time to get in a game and then just not do anything. It was freaking bad. And my dark devotion is now useless because the obsession killed herself. So you know, there's that. Alright, we've slowed the game down enough. Let's take a look at the map. This is fun. Here. So I'm try to translate. I don't know if it's just. It looks like random symbols. We've got the lights, the candles. you got the cool little thing that lines up. Look at it, right? It's kind of fun. Go down. So this is. I know you can get into the basement. Oh, there it is. Hi, Jane. Listen. Oh, hey, Bolt James. Got a puke. <laughs> no, it wasn't enough to hurt, injure. Too bad. <laughs> Come on, get injured. <laughs> Must need to do a like a uh, full thing then to injure him with uh, that thing. Cause there's, this, you see, she's fully infected on the bottom left. Save her. Oh, save her. Oh, see, now she's in fact. So there's a time thing even afterwards. I was curious if you if you did that, there'd be a timer. Like, listen, home slices. Oh, because she pulled that down, it uh, made it diseased. Thank you for saving her. Holy crap. Thank you. This was not meant to be a five second game. I literally have been waiting for about 45 minutes to get in here. Oh, hey, that's a cool thing. So when you do the generator, that door will open. So this is, uh, I mean, once you get used to that, that's probably a really good looping spot. I'll be fair. So that means that sound that you guys heard, that means that one of my um, pools have been used, which is twofold. One, you'll notice this turned white, meaning that I know that one of the survivors was here. I keep track of the new one that popped up. And now, you'll see that my, be like, where's the white? Not here. Those voices are kind of weird. Not sure what that's about, but it's cool. Come on, I want a piece of vomit. Come on, where you at? Where you at? So there it is. You gotta be in a certain range, I guess, or maybe there's a certain time. I don't know. I don't get to see anybody. I don't get to puke on them. We go use this one now. We're gonna we're gonna do some puking. We're gonna do some puking, some puking, some puking, some puking. Come here. I wanna do some puking. It's a good song. No. So, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Really? No? No? Good. 
Did you notice the hatches were plagued? That was cool. Very oh, you sneaky little devils. Alright, I just want to puke on ya. Just a little. I want to puke on ya a little. <laughs> See, it automatically hurts her full infection. And here... <laughs> There's head on working. Do you guys see how it stunned me after she came out of the locker? That's pretty dope. I like that. We have to see that firsthand. And you notice that she healed. So if you're ever uh, hurt by the infection, you can actually just heal. Uh, or you can get yourself a. Uh, water, the purifying water, and, um, you're basically set. You don't have to heal yourself manually. And you can choose to heal yourself manually, um, except for if you get kill, heal, hurt by the infection. Um, I see she's, she's starting to figure this loop out. It's a really good looping spot. She'll go to her left. There we go. Now she's injured, and I can just. Sick of Gasaisa! Drop her. Oh, we got a. We got a Wily one. It's okay. Oh, there's no actual hooks there? Okay, I'm in trouble. <laughs> This one over here. Cool. Out over there. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. So you can like, so you'll see the lockers now thing, so if anybody puts it in there, right, tries to get in there, can't do anything about it. Yeah, she's kind of fun. I, I um I watched some videos on her last night. I was watching people play her, and I say that she's a mix between like a huntress and um, the pig. It's kind of how I've pieced it together of how she plays. Um, because obviously she pushes you to, to do something that takes your time away, much like the, the air traps do. But also, what's up, Jane? How you doing? Sorry, Jane. You gotta. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get people done. Corrupt purge. You slow down and then. I knocked her down because I had the corrupt purge that time, right? So she's trying to heal in this nice little pool over here. Apparently, yeah, you can't, you can't, uh, don't always tell me that you can corrupt those, but I think it would be super lame. So I'm glad that that's not a thing. Yeah, it is about done. Listen, friend. I'm about to... <laughs> It's really hard to hit him on the run, like around the corners. So you can see that a great strat here is um, run around the corner with him. <laughs> see how that works. There's an add-on that uh, makes it the puke more that you can your puke does more damage. I don't know what it is, but basically, I was watching somebody last night using an add-on that they would do a full fuel file purge. And, oh, dude, I'm sorry. I didn't know you are dead. My bad, bro. That was rude of me. Anyway, 
Yeah, so he was playing it so that he would like do a full puke on somebody and then he would just hit him right after, knock him down. Um, because when they get off the hook, they're still corrupted. And so that gives you time to get these, you know, purges out and mess with people. So there's that. So yeah, I, um, I don't know if she's the strongest killer by stretch, but she's certainly really fun. And I think there's a lot of value in what she can do. To, uh, you know, kind of change the pace of the game and make people think about what they're doing. You gotta plan ahead with this killer, right? Because you can corrupt generators, you can do a lot of things that really mess with people. Um, I really put them in a skin. So, always that. What's up? Let's watch. That's corrupted now. So, she had it before. Every time you jump over one of those, you get farther in your little corruption cycle. So. Whack. Herself. See, so that's why. So I know exactly where she is. So there's a lot of information to be gathered here. So, like, even though this took more time, you know, in a, in a game, it would be easily you know, justified to say that I've smacked her once, right? Because she's already injured, so now I just gotta get that second hit on her. Where'd you go? Do the dim. That retching also is super loud. It's easy to find her. That's something to consider. But it makes lives a lot easier. So see, now that generator's done, this is a lot easier to do. A lot easier, so that generator in the middle, so find one to let them do, because it makes this less loopable. It's always nice. Fun, fun. If it's like... <laughs> That's attractive. I don't, I don't care what you guys all say. And that went forever away, too. See that? Look at that. Look at that was a plant. God, look how far that goes, dude. I, you got a freaking sniper aim. You'll be fine. This is impressive. She's probably going to save it right about now. So we can go get this. So we can go spew some blood on him. There you are, just like clockwork. <laughs> See how far that goes? That is just nutty. You can totally, like, this is, so there's a little bit of a Larry in there too, because you can get that AoE attack in there potentially. That's a lot of fun. You corrupt when you have the blood? No, you cannot. It's an L. Well, there's no window. So you can also spot fire. Like. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, it's that movement speed stuff, even if you do a little vile spurge spurt. Slow down pretty hard. seen the map we got to play I right, get to kill them like it's like a rule see now she I believe dies on hook 
And then this gal's walked over here. Oh. Oh, she's right here. Could have crawled over here. Could have crawled over here. It was right there. It was right there. Was right, you just walk over. It's like it's like right here. Hey, look at you. You could have been like. Here, I'll make it a slip and slide inside for you. I gotta have a little slip and slide. Ah. It's ruining my immersion. Not splattering on the inside, making hollow sounds. So anyway, yeah, there's the plague. I, I, she seems pretty fun. Um, I would probably put her as like a tier two killer, tier B, whatever kind of rig you use, you know, as your your standard. Because um, survivors that are really good at running around corners um, are going to be the most useful um, against fighting against the plague. Because you'll saw, us, you can see that it was really hard for me to angle that. Um, That side, the, the, the vomit, over around the corner, and so um, having that be in the way and you know, not being able to get that on the person, that could be potentially problematic. But there's some add-ons. Um, I want to look at it really fast for her that I think can really make her um, shore up her weaknesses a little bit, which is what every killer should do, right? You should be able to use your add-ons before it. So anyway. Uh, this one's really cool. So Black Ed's incense is for five seconds after they vomit, which if you saw when they were injured and while they were infected or right before they were injured, you know that full circle, they'll actually vomit and that can actually get on the other survivors. So you don't want to be near other survivors when you're sick. Um, that contagion effect will hit them really, really hard. So then it was revealed to you and you can chase them down. So, um... Oh, okay. This one's... I, I forgot to read the bottom part. So Vile Purchicons Corrupt Purge every time a generator is completed. And then it moderately decreases movement speed while holding corrupt purge, which means that it's right when you're about to get on them. So it depends on how much that that, that decreases is going to be see how effective it is on the thing. Um, so it increases the duration of corrupt purge. I've seen this one in effect. Holy cow, corrupt purge lasts for days. Um, okay, it increases the. Hey, look it. Track my stories. Um. So it increases vial purge effectiveness. I don't know if that's uh, like the vision because you lose vision when you're vomited on. Um, there's a couple things that it can do, so I don't know what the vial purge effectiveness could contain to. So, um, okay, so this one right here makes so the pools of devotions don't reactivate quickly. Um, moderately increases movement speed while holding corrupt purge. I saw somebody with this one and they were like a race car chasing after me with their freaking blood vomit. It was nutty. Um, Let's see, increase infection time on it, increases the duration, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly increases movement speed while charging with Vile Purge. So remember that Corrupt, corrupt Purge and Vile Purge are considered separate. Um, and so, you get to see kind of all that in, in effect. I like how it's a blessed apple. Okay, cursed apple, little Snow White reference there. So yeah, um, the, the two that I'm thinking of is the Worship Tablet, um, that I would like to run with her because of that Corrupt Page. And then um, this one right here, the devotee's ambulance. If you run these two together, like, I think that she could be a tier one killer easily, just because of how much pressure you can put. Uh, it depends on how good these are. Typically, it's not hard to find survivors, especially when you put the incense on them, or the incense, the vomit, plague. So we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, there's the new map. That was a new killer. Uh, we'll have to get a Mori out, but we'll go from there.